Hello and welcome. I'm Erica Ishii and I'm here to spill all the secrets about keys from the Golden Vault. A new collection of 13 Dungeons and Dragons adventures wrapped around a new genre of play, the heist. The book is full of casino jobs, museum capers, a great train robbery, and even an infamous prison that you'll see in Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. These 13 adventures can be run as single sessions in one night or linked together as one big story for a campaign that lasts for weeks and can be placed in any setting. The book also includes in-world maps to help players plan their heists, plus dungeon master advice for running non-traditional adventures with high risk and high rewards, along with rival crews, MacGuffins, and ticking clocks. Let's check in for details on the high security prison known as Revel's End and the adventure that we're calling Prisoner 13. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that the movie has a heist element to it. Serendipitously, this product is similarly themed. All of the adventures are tailored around the acquisition of some rare objet d'art or MacGuffin. And just like the movie, wacky antics are likely to ensue. So Prisoner 13 is an adventure um, in which the player characters are asked to retrieve a key from a notorious uh, dwarven organized crime boss who is imprisoned in the titular prison, uh, Revels End Prison in the Forgotten Realms, which is the setting of the new Dungeons and Dragons movie, and all of the hijinks that ensue in the player characters trying to um, retrieve something of great value to an ancient dwarven clan. I worked with the writers, directors, to come up with a location in the Forgotten Realms that would serve the needs of the movie. And we showcased that location in an earlier product, and we are returning to it now in Golden Vault. At the same time, it shows up in the film. Now, no D&D book is complete without classic art and maps. And our approach to maps in this book is a little different. Let's take a look. Maps certainly are a key aspect of this project, and every adventure has two maps. One is for the DM's eyes only. That map contains not only the key for the location, but also secret doors and other things that the players maybe not know about. But the second map is an in-world artifact. It's an in-world map that the characters obtain, and it is the thing around which they plan each heist. But as I said, the player's maps are always, to some extent, incomplete or missing some vital piece of information uh, that can serve as a surprise or discovery later on. The secretive organization known as the Golden Vault specializes in hiring the right crew for the right job, working outside the law to do good no matter the cost. Let's check in for the details. The Golden Vault are the heist organizers. They're the bosses who are dispatching the player characters as their agents to help those in need. The Golden Vault, Amanda Hammond and I created that to help DMs uh, by giving them an organization that's benevolent, that exists to basically acquire MacGuffins and lock them away safely uh, if necessary to prevent them from falling into evil's hands or whatever. So the overall organization, uh, the Golden Vault, works with the player characters in a very specific way. There is an agent who's a, an NPC assigned to the player characters as their handler, but the player characters, of course, cannot interact directly with their handler all the time because their handler might get caught. So what happens uh, is that the player characters are given a music box. When it's examined by the authorities, it looks just like a, a pretty little collectible. But when it is opened with a key that is especially magically inclined, uh, it plays a message from the Golden Vault handler describing what the mission is, who the characters uh, need to speak with to get more information, and generally giving them the sort of lowdown um, to get their heist going. You can pre-order keys from the Golden Vault right now on D&D Beyond. If you're new to D&D Beyond, welcome. It's our official digital tool set that makes D&D even easier to play. 
It's free to register, so get in there and start creating characters and encounters. It'll also include the digital perks that you come to expect from pre-ordering on D&D Beyond, including a new digital dice set exclusive to pre-orders. You can also pre-order keys from the Golden Vault as a digital physical bundle. You'll get the physical copy of the book, the digital copy on D&D Beyond, and the cool DDB perks. Plus, if you pre-order the bundle, you'll unlock your digital copy two weeks early with exclusive access on February 7th ahead of the book's release on February 21st. You know the job, you know the risks, you've got the talent. The only question left is, are you in?